Welcome to 8 min automation. Here you can see the historical trend or data will be logged inside the historical logs of the TAA portal and we can access these values, these historical values through an Excel file also. So we can see I'm updating my trend right here. So we can see the historical values will be cycling and updating in every one seconds. In the normal ways that could be uh, five seconds or a few minutes or hours whatever so I'm just showing you my view that has been updated over my temperature you can see because it's in use because I'm in the runtime you can see the values will be logged in the Excel sheet automatically you can see these values these total values I can read from this Excel sheet so it's now at 62 you can see the values at current it is 62 that will be logged in every seconds when the runtime is active so let's see how to configure these historical trends let's go now we can go and place a slider for giving the analog values so just place the slider over here and on the other end you can go to style and designs and make it the WinCC dot field okay so you can get a specific or a neat slider for giving the input field and also I just want to display my values I'm using a trend so I'm using a normal trend and also for that also I'm using the style or designs making it WinCC dark theme and now I just want to give the values or give the tag name for the trend for giving the tag name go to general and the tag name process tag I'm going to use inside the process tag I just want to use a normal tag HMI tags before tag table and add a new tag this will be and naming it as SL that stands for slider and the data type will be integer and hit ok and I want to log this tag SL and I want to display this tag in the trends as a historical trend so for that I'm going to create a historical log the logbook simply it's a book or it's a log that stores every values that depends or correspond to the specific type so that's why i'm going to create here historical data right here and i'm going to create one log that will be called temperature that could be temperature so i'm logging the temperature in the location or the data type will be storing the log. data type will be I'm making it a CSV or comma separated values that's used for reading those values in the Excel format so I can access the values in the Excel sheet also and the paths will be inside my C drive slash logs inside those logs you can see the CSV file that will be logging as temperature and I can add these inside the temperature I can add a couple of tags here I'm only using one tag that is be SL so that logging tag one that could be SL this SL tag and okay and acquisition mode will be cyclic and now I am using uh, the logging cycle class uh, one second for watching a better view so in the normal ways we don't use one second for a long term data logging because that consumes too much data because we don't need actually every seconds time or every seconds temperature we actually use in hours or minutes something like that so whatever so I'm back to my screen to develop the other things so, so by changing the slider I could imagine that my temperature is varying and here I am going to add a couple of more things that uh, toolbar inside the toolbar I have to display my toolbar also for the historical logging I have to refresh my uh, trend view every time because otherwise that won't show the trends values continuously because it's historical in the normal times or the normal trend that will be shown as the normal trend view that will be updated in every couple of seconds but it's not so we have to use this uh, toolbar buttons to update my trend so I'm going to the properties of the trend so we can go to the trend here and we can add the trend right here the trend name and the source settings we want my trend I want my trend displayed on this trend view and the source source means where the data are coming from and I could 
place the value the process value will be sn but i am not using that i want to acquire my data from the database that i have created so i can change the cyclical real time to data log it's a data log in trend so i want to change it to data log and i can go to the source settings inside the source setting you can see the data log file as well as the process values so i can go to fetch the data log file that i have created as temperature so easily i can take it from here and the process variable is sl so inside the temperature sl is i am logging and that's it so i just created and the trend view is data logging type and trend one and the style i can change it to interpolated or something like that bar or points step i'm using the default one interpolated so we just want to use uh, or we just want to see the data logging trends right here i'm going to the runtime right here and during the runtime i can show you i can provide some or uh, provide couple of values through the slider so that will be fed or the data logging file and i can actually access that data log file in in the excel sheet also so I'm using, so I'm creating, I'm moving my slider, but no change in the trends. You can see it's actually cyclically logging in every second. In every second, it's actually logging the value or saving the value depends on the type. So to access these values in the trends, I have to update it by clicking the back button and hitting the forward button. So you can see this is my logged values. You can see the logged values right here. And if you want to see more logged values, I'm changing my slider again and again. And once again, I'm updating it. One, two, bingo. It's very simple. So the historical trend logging is very, very simple. And I'm exiting from the runtime mode from here, Alt F4. And I want to show you my logged data so that I'm going to my files. And that could be inside the C logs. So I'm going to my this PC. Inside this PC, you can see logs. Inside the logs, you can see it's the temperature, temp0.csv. This is the file that created right now. And I just want to open this in the Excel file. And you can see the values that have entered will be displayed over there. So we can wait a couple of seconds for uh, opening the Excel. And uh, now you can see the Excel file has been opened and the value is up to the second time in milliseconds. You can see this is time and in milliseconds. And this is a value, variable value. You can see when I'm increasing my slider, you can see 75, 39 keeps increasing and decreasing my slider values. And the values will be logged here for a few minutes. Okay, not for a few minutes. Whenever I am using this run time for a while, up to that point, the data will be logged. I mean, this you can see this 22, 22, 22 to here. I didn't move my slider up to this point, and on the very next second, I just move and increasingly that goes 71, then 59. That is the log value. Okay, we can actually encode this time in millisecond if you are using the Siemens software in the data format, it will be time. So we can decode that easily. So I'm just stopping. So this is the historical trend and the Excel communication with the historical data log. Hope you understand this video. So for more videos, you can subscribe my channel and thank you.